Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I am super excited to show you a brand new feature available in Squarespace called the Text Highlight. This new feature allows us to choose from 12 different designs to create a unique highlight effect for an individual word or even a character in a text block in your Squarespace website. Now again, there are 12 different designs to choose from and in this video, I'm gonna show you each one. Each one of these designs can have a custom color and a custom animation and a few other settings I'd love to show you. So without further ado, I'm gonna share my screen and we'll check out this brand new feature together. Here we are inside Squarespace and I do wanna mention this tutorial is for version 7.1. At the time of recording this, text highlights are not available in older versions of Squarespace, just the new ones. So using the text highlight feature, we now have 12 design options, custom colors, custom animations, and additional settings. Here's a little preview of all 12. We've got the underline, the freehand slash, double underline, marker highlight, wavy, circle, over and under, scribble, jagged, cross, diagonal, and strike through. Lots of fun stuff to check out. So I'm going to hop here into edit mode and I'll show you exactly how we create this for a block of text. I'm just going to add a brand new block of text and we'll call this example. And I'll make this my heading one so it'll be the biggest type of text I have on my site and we can really see these options. Now, if I highlight over the word example, you'll notice right here is our new option for the text highlight. I'm going to click on that. And here we have all of the options that I've listed here. Clicking this drop down, you'll see all 12 options with little examples here. We've got the circle. We have the double underline. We have the crossed out text. We have the freehand slash. Lots of cool stuff. And almost all of them have the same settings underneath. Now, the first thing that you can edit is the color completely customizable. Grab one that's already on your color palette or select custom and pick any color you want. You can grab something from the color picker here or type in a hex color code that you want to use, completely customizable. But again, you can also use your color palette. It'll be right here. Now, after that, we can adjust the thickness of the line. This is a little different for each one of the highlights, but check it out. When I make this freehand slash super thick, it'll actually go behind the text, creating a really cool effect. It also will stretch a little bit past the word example and a little bit in front of it, really emphasizing it. The end caps can be set to square or round. And I want you to notice, we'll go ahead and make this thickness a little bit bigger here. See what happens when I select round versus square. An interesting design feature for that particular option. Bring to front, if we toggle this on, it'll go in front of the, of the letters here. So it'll be above that P. Check it out. That's what happens when we bring it to the front. Now, if you might be wondering, why would I want to do that with a solid color? If you click on color and go to your palette, you can actually adjust the opacity here. We can actually select maybe a lightly opaque color here. You'll notice it's still going in front of the P, but I can adjust the opacity, changing its transparency. Pretty cool, right? Now, animation is the last part here. You can have a custom animation that won't affect the standard site animations you have on your website. You can change your animation type to draw, fade, or fade and scale. Draw, we just saw, here's fade, and here is fade and scale. Kinds of zooms in a little bit. And again, one last time, here's draw. Now you can change the direction of the draw and the duration. For fade and scale, you can't change the direction because it's going to come from the back of the text. So again, we have our options up here, all 12 design options. Whatever you select, you can always change the color of it, and you should be able to adjust the thickness. Square and round is another option that we have here. Bring to front, we'll place it in front of the text, and the animation can be draw, fade, or fade and scale, and it won't change your site animations. You can adjust the duration and the direction for draw, but that's about it. I also want to show you what happens when we select the circle option and scroll down here. We can still pick direction for draw, but it will just be clockwise or counterclockwise. Clockwise is our option to the left here. Counterclockwise is our option to the right. And how did I reach this menu? I'll show you one last time. I selected text and then I clicked this option right here to access all 12 of our designs. And let's say you create one and you really don't like it. Scroll down to the bottom and select remove. That's how you can get rid of it. So one last time, highlight some text on your site inside a text block. That part's really important. Click on highlight and select any of these designs. Make any of the changes you want. Make any of the changes you want to its style using these other options and select remove if you don't want to see that text highlight feature anymore. When you're all done, make sure you select save on that page and you'll be good to go. 
I hope you're as excited about this brand new feature as I am. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a like and comment below. And definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Now stick around. I've got another video queued up for you that I think you're going to enjoy. Here's what's coming up next.